of the coming together of vision, passions, and dreams to bring about the reality of empowerment that is the Miss Deaf Beauty Pageant. Hello, my name is Uri Ngozi Chikuka and I am the convener of Empathy Driven Women International Initiative and on this particular project I'm partnering with the most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria pageant and we're bringing to the country for the very first time a beauty pageant that you would call the all-inclusive or the first inclusive beauty pageant. The rate of sexual violence amongst these girls is high. United Nations says it's about one in five women but working in this part, I tell you, for girls and women living with disabilities, it's about three in five. What we're doing, Edwin, we've always, we've always been at the vanguard of promoting ability. We are all about ability. We want you to look beyond what you perceive as disability and actually see the beauty, the strength, the grace, the talent, and every other beautiful thing that makes up a human being. Well, I would say thanks to all the persons that are working in the disability space, the advocacy is strong. And then thanks to our president, who signed the disability bill this year on the 23rd of January, 2019, after it had spent 18 years between the Senate and the House. As a deaf person, naturally, discrimination will be available. But when you have a goal, you know where you want to go, what you want to achieve. Nothing will stop you. That has been our dream. Today, we are here. We thank many people who have come out to support us, especially Uri, the CEO of Edwin. Dino, but say in sign language, but say she's representing Miss Dev Lagos. As you can see, I am the first born. She's the first born of the family. She's the only girl in the family, and two boys. She was born hearing normal. Until she became five years old. She became sick after six months. She complained. She was back home because she was still hearing. She was complaining she wants to go back home. Not long. She on TV. It was very loud. She can't hear anything. She called her mommy that she can't hear anything. Mommy don't believe her. She said she can't hear anything. She back to the TV. She put her ear that she can't hear anything. They don't believe her until she walked out. Mommy called her name. She can't hear. They took her to the hospital at Yaba Hospital for the hearing. Okay, hearing aid. They tested her. They told her parents, sorry, your baby has become deaf. My name is Manko Felix. She was born hearing, but later when she was five, she became deaf through sickness. Because she be, she's deaf, people don't want to relate with, with her. People fight with her, they abuse her, and she fought back just because she's hungry. She greets everyone. Her name is Chinozo. Chinese sign language. Like this. She's representing Miss Anambra. She wants to help the deaf children to learn different skills. For example, 
for example, she wants them to learn the alphabet. Then also beauty, also makeup. She wants to advise them to know how to dance. Anytime from now, we'll be hosting the most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria. Now, this is the very first time that this show or this pageant, this kind of pageant, is coming to the country. We're talking about inclusion, and inclusion is topping serious conversations all over the world. And so even the beauty world or the world of fashion is not left out in inclusion. So this is us. And as you can see, the girls are very beautiful. And um, anytime from now, we'll know the most beautiful, we'll get to see the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, The winner for the first ever most beautiful deaf girl in Nigeria who will be representing Nigeria in the international Miss Deaf, most beautiful deaf girl in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, It's Miss Riverside. My name is Diana Wandu. Um, I'm a good friend of the owner of the school, and my two children also graduated from the school. But the honor of judging this contest today was phenomenal. I mean, I thought it was such a good cause to begin with, but seeing all these girls and celebrating them, just like any other beauty pageant, was just out of this world to me. Um, it was very difficult to find a winner. Um, pretty much, we were pretty much unanimous on our top three, but then the other two, after the last questions, just put everything in into a tailspin. My name is Mudupe Ade Yinkaoni. I'm the executive director and founder of Standard Bearer School, host to the most beautiful girl, deaf girl in Nigeria competition. A big success, a really big success. Like they say in the deaf world, it's high up there. They, this was amazing. My name is Dr. Tolu Lokwe Okwe Gare. I am the CEO of Most Beautiful Deaf Girl in Nigeria and organizers of Miss and Mr. Deaf Nigeria, actually. And I'm the provost of the Institute of Counseling in Nigeria. Somebody kept telling me about how um, bad the drug, drug issues are in the midst of the deaf uh, people, the um, issue of rape. So she told me a lot, and she told me the level, uh, the issue of HIV, so I got so worried. I mean, she told me those stories were scary. And they were like, so who is helping these people? What are they doing to do something? And she was like, ah, ma, just forget it, you know? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something. So when I got home, I picked my phone and I Googled how to help the deaf. And that was how I found out about Miss Deaf Ward. And I wrote to them that, okay, this is a very good initiative. So we were planning to attach an, uh, a vocational center to uh, Miss Deaf Nigeria. So moving forward, we are planning to, of course, attend all the international pageants next year and start running with the PET project. Although there's much more to be done and the road seems stretched out before us, this is surely the moment to celebrate a significant milestone, the coming together of vision, passions and dreams to bring about the reality of empowerment that is the Miss Death Beauty Pageant.